Judy Brown was loving her life out in L.A., but when parents needed cared for, she and her family moved back home. Through this experience, she found the calling for her Act Three, that extra stage in life where we now have time to do what you really want to do. And it's fair to say it put a song in her heart. Judy is an actor, singer, and on-camera talent, and she's here to share some of her talent with us here today. Welcome Hi. to the show. Hi, Lori. Thank you for inviting me. So it's noteworthy to mention that your parents needing care also, not only did you help them, but it came about a whole new career for you. Absolutely. So tell us about yeah. that. Oh, it brought me back to the Cleveland area. Um, my father-in-law was ailing, um, and then my mother, and then my father. Mm. Um, so we wanted to be here to help out. And when my father fell at his house, um, he was supposed to come live with us, he ended up in a retirement home, which he had a really difficult time to get used to. Yeah. Um, and when I would go and visit him, which I did frequently, um, I noticed there were a lot of people that had no one to visit them. And I thought, how can I make a difference? What can I do? I thought, well, I'm a performer, I sing. Why not put a song in their heart and go around and, and sing for them and entertain them and talk to them and touch them and make them know they're important? So I started my company, Music for the Young at Heart. It sounds a, a great calling, a passion that you finally discovered. So um, you got a taste of what this music could actually do for the patients by visiting a neighbor, though, too, right? Right, just recently. Um, I was singing at a home uh, quite frequently, and she was there, but she'd been ill quite a bit, so I couldn't see her, and they couldn't wheel her down to hear me sing with mm -hmm. the group. So I asked the hospice nurse if I could go to her and sing with her. And so I sat at the end of the bed, and I rubbed her feet. Now, mind you, this woman's been in a coma for a couple of years now. Oh, she had dear. a brain aneurysm. So as I rubbed her feet, I sang a cappella to her, and as I sang to her, she stopped shaking. And the hospice nurse stood up, and I stood up, and we were so excited. And it just shows you the power of song and how music affects people in ways that we don't even know. It just touches a different part of your brain than I that guess. cognitive piece, maybe, that you right. respond with. Normally. So I stayed for a half an hour instead of one song. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you helped her out a lot, I bet. So. I, well, I, I hope so. Um, and you've also seen an other variety of reactions when you're singing with these older folks, correct? Exactly. Um, I don't only sing in retirement homes, but I sing for senior groups. And of course, oh. the senior groups, they get up and they dance and they <laughs> applaud and they sing, uh, which is a totally different situation when I go to the homes. Many of the people in the homes have Alzheimer's or dementia um, and don't speak and uh, oftentimes look like they're not paying attention. And as you sing to them, you start seeing them recall or memories come out. They actually live List, you know, do the words, mm -hmm. they lip sync to me when I'm singing. And these are people that don't even talk and sometimes don't know their family's names or their own names. So somehow it touches those people um, in a way that we don't really even know. Wow, mm -hmm. that's great. Um, what kind of per music do you usually perform when you go out to these groups? Well, this is fun. I do a little of everything. Um, they also guide me on what to sing. I ask them when I perform if there's something they would like me to sing next time I come, if I don't sing a song that they particularly like. Mm -hmm. I want something that's going to spur a memory or something that really right. will affect them when I perform. But I do big band music, uh, a lot of musical theater where I act out the characters. They love that. Do you dress up too? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be like quick change yeah. artist, right? <laughs> no. uh, and I also do 50s, 60s, and 70s music, depending on the age, but um, they guide me a lot about what music to sing, so next time I come, um, I bring a song that maybe will mean something to them and spur a memory that they have, um, but it also expands my repertoire at the same time. Yes. <laughs> uh, and you talk to the residents before and after the performance, right? Right. I set up my music and I give myself 15 minutes before and 15 minutes after just to walk around and talk to each one of them. I want them not to just sit and listen to the music, but I want them to be touched by a person mm -hmm. and be talked to, because many are lonely. And yeah. it's not just song, it's uh, having that human touch or someone that talks to you and they hug you back and they kiss you it's it's very rewarding yeah. that's so great mm -hmm. so Judy found a way to make her act three pitch perfect by sharing her musical talent with appreciative audiences um, know someone who needs just a little tune-up then give Judy a call <laughs> her number is coming up next thanks thank you Lord. learn more about music for the young at heart by logging on to www dot judy brown presents dot com or call 330-554-3340 next